Okay, two questions. Can you hand paint or draw embellishments and then print them on water slide paper? And can water slide paper be applied to a painting that's already varnished? Yes and yes. So, some people have asked me if you can paint or draw directly on the water slide paper, um, but the water slide paper is designed to be printed on with an inkjet printer, so it applies a thin layer of ink on a very delicate thin film that then looks seamless on the finished piece. So the next best thing is to draw or paint something and then print it on the water slide paper. So here's a varnish painting that I wanted to embellish with some hand painted flowers. So I painted each individual element on some scrap vellum paper I had. Then I scanned them into my computer. A nice photo would work however you want to get them into your computer. And then here's the magical part. This is why it's so nice to do this digitally. If you do individual elements, you can use photo or design software to individually select each element and then that allows you to scale, rotate, make copies, and then arrange them however you want. So I loaded a photo of my painting and scaled it into the software so it was 12 inch by 24 inches in the design space just like it is in real life. And that way when I build my flower border, I know it'll be to scale. And then I piece out the clusters knowing they need to be printed on A4 sized uh, paper because that's what the water slide paper is. So I arranged them to get the most printed on a single piece of paper and then use as few pieces of water slide paper as possible. So then I print them in spray gloss, three coats, and if you want to see a detailed tutorial on how to apply this water slide paper, I'll link that in the video description. So then I cut the pieces out and position them on the canvas to make sure they look good. Then I start soaking them in water and applying them around. So like I said, this canvas is already varnished and I used a Liquitex high gloss varnish, which means this is very, very smooth. So a very super smooth surface and the water slide paper adhered to it beautifully. And a note, the water slide paper is very fragile and can tear easily. It can also scratch easily. So just be careful when handling it. We like that thin film because then it's a beautiful application, but it does need to be handled delicately. So even though this is white water slide paper, it's not entirely opaque, so just know that going into it. So I see on the center flower here that the leaves underneath are showing. So I quickly lift this up um, because I don't like those leaves showing. So I take an X-Acto knife and very lightly and very gently cut those leaves. Um, and it cut, the X-Acto knife cuts through the water slide paper like butter. So I just quickly do that, then I finish applying it all the way around, and I personally like to add a shadow around the flowers to give it some depth, and this is just straight acrylic. Now, painting acrylic on such a smooth, glossy surface, it does come out looking streaky, so I just had to apply, like do a lot of extra blending to smooth out those streaks. Um, but then I sealed the whole thing with a clear gloss spray coat because I had multiple media at this point. I had the original gloss, I had the water slide paper, and now I had this acrylic. So a nice gloss coat over top spray and it sealed it perfectly. So there you have it. If you ever have a painting you've already varnished and you wanna add something later on, water slide paper is a great way to go and you can still use your own art to print on the water slide paper. So I'll link that water slides paper tutorial in the description below. Thanks for watching.